In this lesson, we're going to look at higher purchase. Now, higher purchase schemes are available to those who can't initially afford what they're trying to buy. Basically, what you need to do is pay a deposit, and then you can walk away with the, the vehicle in this case, or whatever it is, the television, or whatever it is you're trying to buy, and then you pay the rest of it up in smaller installments. So this car here is £37,000, £795. A lot of people wouldn't have that money sitting in the bank and, and couldn't afford it. Now, if you put a deposit down on this, uh, saying a minimum deposit of 30%, um, then you can pay the rest up in a monthly instalment basis, which is, makes things more affordable for people. Um, the thing is, what happens with higher purchases is they usually charge you more for the privilege of doing this. So instead of paying £37,000, you may end up paying about £40,000 or £39,000, something like that. Right, so let's look at a few examples of how this works. So example one here. The cash, if you went in to buy this motorbike and, and you had the cash for it, it would cost you £4,100. Or there's another way to do it. You can pay a deposit of £500 and then 24 monthly instalments of £170. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do is work out how much your instalments are going to cost. Now, the instalments, there's 24 of them and you pay £170 each time, every month. So you just do a time sum to work that out, 24 times 170 and get your answer. You also have to take into account you've paid a deposit, you pay that initially and then you can drive, you can get on the bike and ride it away. And that deposit was £500. So to finally work out the higher purchase price, the total higher purchase price, then you need to add your deposit because you've paid that and the total of your instalments, and that comes to, if you add them together, 4580 Now, the question says, how much more is the higher purchase deal? Well, it was going to cost you 4100 Higher purchase is allowing you to, to take two years to, to pay for it, but it's costing you more money. So if you did take away some of the 4580 uh, you get £480 and more uh, for the higher purchase deal. By just doing a takeaway sum there. Okay, right. Next example. Now, as in the, the car example, sometimes the deposit is a percentage. Now, it's a percentage of the cash price that you have to pay, so uh, you have to do an extra calculation here to work out the deposit. So, this guitar, if you wanted to buy it outright, would cost £615. If you couldn't afford that, you could put a deposit down of 15% of that, so it's really just 15% of this, that, apl that applies to the cash price, 15% of that, and then nine th monthly instalments of £65. So let's, as before, work out the instalments first, so we're paying £65 nine times. Right. Type that into your calculator, or do a sum if you're doing it without a calculator. And then for the deposit, we've got to work out 15% of the cash price. So 15 divided by 100 uh, times 615, or do 615 divided by 100 times 15, whichever way you know how to do it. Okay, total higher purchase price. Again, it's the same idea, just add the instalments to the deposit. You pay the deposit, you take the guitar away, and then you pay the monthly instalments up. So total price comes to 67725. Again, if you want to see how much more you paid, well, that was the cash price. This is how much more you paid, so I take away some and get you the answer. And that comes to £62.25.